A thousand tickets are sold at five dollars each for a raffle. There's one grand prize of four hundred fifty dollars, two second prizes of two hundred fifty dollars, and five third prizes of one hundred dollars. Find the expected value of the raffle, and if it's not a fair game, determine a ticket price that would make it fair and we'll round our final answer to the nearest cent. As usual, we're trying to build a table that's going to have our values and probabilities. Because this raffle has more than one prize, you have to consider how many outcomes can actually happen in this raffle. If you win the grand prize, you get 450. That's one possibility. But you could also win second prize or third prize, or the most likely thing is actually that you lose. So if you think about it, there are really four things that can happen. You can win the grand prize, we'll call that first place, second prize, third prize, or you could lose. Now, the amount of the prizes, I've just created an entire column for that. If you win first place, you get 450. If you win second place, you get 250. If you win third place, you get 100. If you lose, you don't, they don't give you anything. But we haven't taken the cost of the raffle ticket into consideration. So what we really need, and what we're actually more interested in, is the net amount won. So if you win a 450 prize, $450, but you paid $5 for the raffle ticket, you're actually only netting 445 and you can say the same thing about all the others. If you win 250 but it cost you $5 for the ticket, you're only netting 245. If you win $100, you're only netting 95, and if you lose, you just lose the $5 you used to buy the raffle ticket. So those are the values that we're actually interested in. But we also need the probabilities. Be careful because there's only one grand prize. There are a thousand tickets sold, so the probability of winning the grand prize is simply one out of a thousand. But there are two second prizes. So the probability of winning the second prize is two out of a thousand. And there are actually five third prizes, so the probability of winning a third prize or finishing third place is five out of one thousand. Now what's the probability you lose? Well, there's one chance of winning grand prize, another two chances of winning second place, another five chances of winning third place. That's a total of eight chances to win something. So if you take five plus two plus one, you get eight, subtract that from a thousand, that tells you there are 992 chances out of a thousand for you to lose. So that gives us our probabilities. So now we have the values that's the net amount you'll win, the net amount you'll win times the probability of winning that much. So I have my product column, so I multiply 445 times 1 1,000, and that gives me 445 over 1,000. I take 245 times 2 over 1,000, which is 490 over 1,000. Then I take 95 times 5, which is 475 over 1,000. And then I take negative 5 times 992 over 1,000. And 5 times 992 is 4,960, but remember it is negative. So you get negative 4,960 over 1,000. Now you just need to add up those numbers. They all have a common denominator of 1,000, so they'll be easy to add. That means you just take all the numerators, add them up, and put them over 1,000. You get negative 3,550, and that's over 1,000. If you take the calculator and do that division, you end up with negative $3.55. The last part of the question says determine a ticket price that would make it fair. Now remember, we talked about this earlier. If you want to make it fair, you have to adjust the stated price of the ticket by the amount of the expected value. And since it's negative, that's like subtracting. So to find the expected value, 
we go through the calculation we just did, but to see what makes it fair, you take the price of the ticket that was given and adjust it by the expected value, and that ticket price would make the, the game, or in this case, the raffle fair. So if you take $5 and subtract 355, you end up with a dollar forty-five cents. So if you change the price of the ticket from five dollars to a dollar forty-five, that raffle will be fair.